all sorts of people and celebrities who were famous back then who went through all kinds of crazy stuff. And I think that, you know, a lot of their stories were invalidated because people were saying that they were crazy, but they actually had credible things that they were talking about. And I just feel like they should be heard because they weren't crazy. Orlando was not crazy. You know, so many people in the industry, Maya Campbell, these people were not crazy. This industry and the things that they had to do in this industry, you know, that's what caused them. You know, so many people, Amanda Bynes, Amanda, oh my gosh, Amanda Bynes. So many people in this industry uh, are seen as crazy and they're, they're not crazy. They're not crazy. You know, Nick might not have known that he was going to be as famous as he is now. Would I date another celebrity? So does he owe me for child support? Absolutely. But I don't get child support. And um, my entire life does not depend on child support, obviously, or spousal support, obviously, because I've never gotten it. And I don't know why men think this. Like, dude, what's happening? Women don't just live off of child support and spousal support, the little that it is. I'm just pissed off that the little amount that it is, well, it's now a very large amount for Kel because it's been 20 years and there's a lot of interest. But, you know, the reality is, is that why don't you think you need to take care of your children? Like, I don't understand that. Um, I refuse to get into a relationship. Oh, yeah, yeah. There with Orlando, I have no idea. I have no idea uh, what was happening with Nick and Orlando, um, but I think that any male specifically who talks about what another male did to them, especially if they're melanated, I believe it. I don't know why people are like, who makes this stuff up? Like, who goes out there and is like, oh my gosh, I, Nick was stuck. You know, like, who makes this stuff up? That's all I have to say. You, you know what? If, if you hear something that sounds very crazy, it's probably true because who in the heck is having this kind of imagination? Like, why would I ever go around making up this, you know, that Nick has on my shirt? Like, this is crazy. That would be insane. That would just be insane. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I definitely believe any, everything Orlando was saying. Um, I, I met Orlando before, before the drugs and all of that. And, yeah, I mean, a lot of the children stars on Disney and on Nickelodeon were given drugs and given alcohol and they were involved in a lot of sexually you know explicit things with adults and producers and this is very common in the industry it's very common in the industry and and their parents knew too it's like that that to me is the craziest part because you know people are always worried about the kids but like the parents parents were part of it let's not even get to b2k oh man you know what i i i don't need i would hmm, hmm. gotta do some more videos i just um uh, thought about some more about you know the tickle parties all kind of tickle parties <laughs> i'm exposing this now because because uh, i am i guess I guess I am. No, Kel's refusing to do what he's supposed to do, and I'm tired of going back and forth to court with it. So I'm going to, I'm finishing up my book, Surviving Kel Mitchell. Um, Kel and I both met Omarion and his little brother when they were younger. And um, it was just a very, very, very strange situation. Very, very, very strange situation. And, you know, I just think people should talk about this. I don't know why you wouldn't talk about this. This is very important to know um, about the industry. And this, you know, Nick was just jumping on my bed and a cheerleading off. It was like, this to me is not that big of a, of a deal. Maybe it's a big deal, but Nick was cross-dressing. Like, I don't know. This is not that much tea to me, but um, I guess so. Um... Tickle party is when, uh, oh my gosh, what's the manager's name, manager? Um, well, I was around a lot of the people. I was around a lot of the celebrities before the people knew about them. Like Nick stayed at our house. Nick has gone to my family events. A lot of times Nick didn't have a place to go because his family was in San Diego. So he's gone to like my family reunions. He's gone to my barbecues. 
Um, Kel, myself, and Nick were very close. He stayed. He stayed at. Um, he stayed with us almost an entire season of the show. So, and multiple seasons of the show because he was, you know. So we were all very close. We were all very close until the divorce. Um, it's so funny to me because everyone's like clout chasing. It's so funny, but whatever. It can be whatever. It could be clout chasing. It could be bitter. It could be, I don't even care what the hell it is to you. But was was supportive of me or part of the problem? Um, no, Keenan, Keenan was never part of the problem. Keenan was very supportive of our relationship. Kel was the one that didn't care about our relationship. Keenan was there when Kel cheated and ordered a prostitute like a pizza. Um, but Keenan didn't even have sex with a prostitute, but Kel did. So Keenan tried to actually cover up for Kel. But then Kel finally told the truth about it. This is true. Yeah, this is true. This is true. 